I have played tons of games over the years, but Tarkov really got me hooked. A shooter with elements of a grind? That's exactly my thing. And yes, the game isn't perfect and there are some things that need to be worked on. But as a whole, it's a pretty amazing game. But one major problem is basically a couple of months, even 2-3 months after wipe, people start asking for a wipe again. Simply because they don't have anything to do anymore, there's nothing to grind. And this is also something that you clearly see in the player counts or viewer counts. A wipe brings in a ton of players, but shortly after many of them leave until there's just a small portion left. Now the problem with Tarkov in my opinion is that the game doesn't have a strong end game loop, meaning nothing that's worth grinding after you've completed the main game. Now I have wasted tons of hours on other grinding games, for example The Division. The difference here is that the game basically starts once you have completed the main storyline. The end game grind is the game and people spend thousands of hours grinding for better gear. Same with pretty much every MMORPG, Guild Wars, World of Warcraft, people spend thousands of hours in those games grinding for something better. And I think we can learn something from those games on how to create a more interesting and exciting endgame loop for Tarkov. Now I came up with an idea for exactly that, which I would like to present to you and at the end I also want to hear your opinion on the whole thing. Now the goal with this loop is to create an interesting and long lasting endgame loop. It would also get rid of a lot of cheaters, but more on that later, and it would decrease the gap between people with jobs and family, the casual players and the hardcore grinder or full-time streamers. Now when we look at the current game loop in Tarkov, it's basically you go into a raid, you kill, loot and take everything with you that you can, make it out alive or die, either way you sell what you got and then you go back in a raid again. It's a very basic but a perfect loop, I wouldn't change anything here. And while you do this, you level traders, you level your skill levels, you level your hideout. Now this loop can be played as this guy, but it can also be played as this guy. In both ways you can rush the common loot spawns, shove it up your backyard and you're good to go. And next round you can play as the thick guy. So it doesn't matter how you play the game, you will reach the end game eventually which is weird in a way compared to other games. Also, let's say to reach the end game currently, you need around 100 hours, depending on how many wipes you've played before, maybe less, maybe more, but let's just say 100 hours. But after that, there's nothing. The game is missing an end game loop. Now what if we create such a loop? And to do that, we first need to change something in the existing game. And here I would suggest we change the ruble, not the flea market. This might surprise some people, but hear me out. In Escape from Tarkov, once you reach level 10 and you have a way to grind rubles, you have the whole game unlocked already. All the gear, all the items, all the weapons, you can have everything. And I know of no other game where you basically can chill at the beginner area and if you do this long enough, you can just switch to the end game. The game, apart from missions, doesn't encourage you to do something else. And the ruble has other problems as well. For example, because the ruble unlocks the whole game, there are people selling rubles for real money. And this is the reason for a lot of cheating. People do that for a living. They grind rubles in-game with cheats and sell them for real money. So what if we changed the ruble? Let's say with the new ruble you can buy medical items as before, rigs, backpacks as before, you can buy hearing items, you can buy low to mid tier armor, no end game armor, you can buy low to mid tier weapon and mods and low to mid tier bullets. So the word mid tier limit is important here. Now of course we would need to discuss where the barrier has to be, but there has to be one. 
Now, you can play the game just with rubles. I mean, I personally even, at late game, I am mostly just playing AK or RPK, level 4 armor, and that's it for me. But maybe I wouldn't have access to the best bullets. So you can play the game with just rubles, but if you want to go further, you now enter the endgame loop. And for that we need a new currency. This can be the Bitcoin, just rework. Can be a new currency, Dog coin, or the Tarkov coin, doesn't matter. And with those Tarkov coins, you can buy endgame items. For example, high tier bullets, high tier protection items, high tier weapons, high tier weapon mods and items. All of those things are only available for Tarkov coins. Now, how do you get those Tarkov coins? And here I would choose another approach than the ruble that forces people to grind. You could, for example, do daily weekly missions. Those can look like kill 20 scaffs on a map, find something in raid and hand it in, or kill a certain boss. I personally would do it in a way that you have three daily missions, one very easy, one medium and one difficult. Just because this way the average family dad can do one daily but the full-time streamer can do more but it becomes more difficult if you want more than the baseline in coins. It would also be cool if find in raid missions would become a daily for the end game. Suddenly people start looking for items that in late wipe just get thrown on the ground otherwise. It would create a whole new dynamic in the game. And the weekly mission could look something like this, kill the boss and hand in their significant item. Of course, those are just ideas, we would have to test what works and what doesn't. Another way could be kill bosses. Bosses could have a chance to have Tarkov coins in their pockets. And the last way would be to sell top tier gear to vendors. And really important to vendors, there's no flea market for endgame gear. In pretty much every other game you can't trade endgame gear just like that. Most of them are account bound, but in Tarkov we can't do that. But what we can do is just no flea market for endgame gear. You can sell them to a vendor, for example if you find a hex grid and you don't want to play it, you can sell it to, for example, Peacekeeper. He looks shady enough for such a business and he gives you Tarkov coins for that. And with those coins, you can buy the item or weapon that you initially wanted. But again, from a vendor. Now, this would also fix a lot of the cheaters, but more than that later. So these are the current ideas. If you have anything else, let me know in the comment section below. But this whole concept would create a longer endgame. It would get rid of a lot of cheaters, just because currently cheaters can just farm rubles and sell them for real money. But in the new game, they would have to complete the base game first before they can grant those coins. Now imagine we put the barrier for endgame, I don't know, level 25, and they get banned with level 28. Well, have fun grinding those 25 levels again before you can start selling currency. So you could not just create a new account and start selling it immediately again. Then we could also make the Tarkov coin account bound. You can't take it in raid, you can't trade it. Then the only thing BSG would have to look for are people that take, I don't know, six hex grid armors into raid. And this is very easy to spot. And it would create an equal chance for everybody. But again, people that have more time can grind more. But the average player that has a full time job and maybe a family can still take part in the end game. And there are tons of ways how you could extend this system. For example, at a certain point in the hideout, you need those coins, Tarkov coins, to upgrade certain stations. Or with skills, let's say, once you reach level 20 on a skill, every time the skill is ready to go to the next level, you need one Tarkov coin to unlock the next level. There are tons of ways how to extend the system that many other games have in place and work very well. But again, the important part, you don't have to do that. You can play the game just with rubles. It works just fine. It will also not be that hard to implement such a system. We need a new currency, we need to limit items and we need a new trader level. For example, Peacekeeper level 5. And that's basically it. BSG could implement such a system within one wipe. And I think that would fix a lot of problems in Tarkov. Now, this is just my idea. 
I want to hear your opinion on it. Tell me in the comment section what you think about the whole thing. And if you think this is a good idea, then share the video with others so we can create a discussion within the whole community to hopefully create a better endgame loop and prolong the game so we don't have to ask for a wipe every three months or so. Otherwise, thanks for watching as always. If you liked the video, of course, show it to the algorithm by a thumbs up. Tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Again, share it if you think it could create an interesting discussion within the community. And then I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.